Do you need a new fire banger anime to watch? Well, look no further because we have Hell's Paradise. You know, it's very fire because hell is hot and fire is hot too, so you know. But nah, in all seriousness, this anime is tough. If you're looking for a nice, action-packed anime, I highly recommend. I'll give you a brief summary of the premise if you haven't watched. <clears throat> Emo boy got his parents murked and was raised by the chief to become a tough shinobi. Gabby Maru locked in on only the grind, trained to kill and never care about life. Bro survived all this hard training and now he's a tank. But he was captured because he wanted to leave the village and that's forbidden. So now they're trying to execute bro. But Gabby Maru must be a yeet listener because they try all these tactics and he just sits there and tanks it. Bro tried to cut Gabby Maru's head off, but must only have experience on Fruit Ninja the way he was folding. They try to turn him into some Minecraft steak, and he just tanks it! See, at first, I really thought Gabby Maru was just like an indestructible guy, because Bro was talking about wanting to die. He ready to check out, come to find out that's Cap, because the executioners are finally done playing around and decide it's time to get serious. They put Sagari up to the job and she's locked in. She about to give Gabimaru a full Pokemon finisher. She was so tough, Gabimaru saw his death before she even got to cooking. When she was just about to cook Gabimaru, he folded. I don't wanna do this no more. So he not trying to die no more because he got a wife back home. And just before he was about to die, he realized that he actually loves her. Shotty got bro blushing and shit, but I ain't gonna lie, she bad, so. I'ma let it slide. So he said, I'm not gonna take that no more. And then he starts throwing hands. But mid fight, Sagri said that he can get pardoned. He just has to go to this island with a bunch of other criminals that also wanna get pardoned and find this magic elixir of life. The only thing is only one criminal can be pardoned. So that will lead to a bunch of alliances and deaths and other stuff. And that's basically the premise of the story. I don't know if that was a short explanation, but yeah. Gabby Maru is a different breed though. There's a lot of criminals that want to get pardoned. So to get on like this VIP list to go to the island, they have like a battle royale type thing. Gabby Maru on his I have no enemies type timing. But people really want to try him. And since he here to get his girl back, he locks in. And while being tied up, I've never seen someone cook so well. Walks up to little bro. I ain't want to do this. Bro, what are you talking about, man? <laughs> Better scramble like an egg before you get folded like an omelet, nigga. Hey. <laughs> and just merge them all. It's just him against the world and he's cooking them all. And after he's done with his work, he just stands there. He gotta know he's in an anime cause why he looked this tough? He thought he was slick with that hair flip too. This display of being a dog even got Sagari crying. She ain't never seen them come that tough. But after the whole Fortnite adventure, they finally get on the island and this island is weird. We got flying Buddhist butterflies, skyscraper monsters, and Groot. But as soon as they get on the island, Gabby Maru catch and smoke immediately. Bro really thought that would kill him, but Gabby Maru just stands there. And you got Sagri being a full Karen though, making Gabby Maru tie his hands up against this big ass nigga that has no hand ties. And this dude not like a Dragon Ball character, he don't let his enemies get the chance to do shit. On his Aaron Yeager timing, he charges. But Gabby Maru just sits there, unfazed. The weight difference is crazy and you letting bro do you this bad? And bro had the audacity to say, is that it? And we come back to bro defeated with his own arsenal. The disrespect is crazy, I could never take that. Gabby Maru cold, but he also a softy though. His time on the island changing him and you know I'm chilling with that. Gotta keep a nice balance. But he definitely got a wife buff though. Cause the type of timing she was on, I would have folded immediately. I wouldn't care about no elixir of life no more. I'm locked in on only securing the bag. Ooh! If I was Gabby Maru, this would have been a different type of anime. Everything I just talked about was a warm up though, cause when we really get to see Gabby Maru try, it was crazy. This nigga locked in. They going blow for blow, band for band. And if this not the nastiest kick you've ever seen, put me on whatever show you're watching, cause bro made their head spin eight times. We need a replay on this one. Your trash, kid. Bro jumped, hit three spins, and clocked their shit. Gabby Maru actually locked in and he not giving any mercy. He got bro pulling out secret moves and techniques. But I can't lie, Gabby Maru's tough, but he not tough enough. Cause after that secret technique was activated, bro was not tanking no more. Bro is getting pieced up. But I'm telling you, bro got a wife buff. Cause after all that, he still wanna go band for band. Bro got the buff and used it successfully. So we good, right? Well. Nah, bro got one more final technique and Gabby Maru's not built for all this. But you know what? That dog and Gabby Maru activated and he said, I ain't no bitch, you going down with me. He activated his kill switch to try and take them down or at least do the most damage he can. If this not cold, I don't know what is, but it didn't work. But don't worry, cause homegirl came in clutch with the shield bubble and saved Gabby Maru. And right after this fight, Gabby Maru back at it throwing hands. And he learns Tao just like that. And Tao is basically just like the Nen of this world. 
and he cooks up once again. But yeah, that's basically how far I am into the show right now. All right, so as I was recording this, I checked my anime website and come to find out, they decided to add the last two episodes. So like, I'm gonna watch these two and we're gonna get into it. Yeah, so I watched the last two episodes and uh, nothing happened. At least with Gabi Mara. There was this nice fight though, but it didn't have Gabi Mara in it, so do I really care? I mean, I do, I do, I'm not gonna lie, it was a nice fight. Rest in peace to bro though, he did not deserve that at all. Also, rest in peace to him, he did not deserve that either. But there's something I want to talk about that was added in the last episode. So, you know, Gabi Mara's wife, right? The baddie, the one with the scar, you know? Um, yeah, so it turns out she might not even be real. So, yeah, that's the thing. Apparently, the village chief might have put, like, an illusion on Gabi Mara, so. Yeah, that's fun. And also, after using Tao, Gabi Mara lost all of his memory, so that is- that's that's also fun. The good thing is, season 2 is confirmed, and I cannot wait for that. This was a nice anime. I enjoyed watching it. It got me a little bit outside of my anime burnout. I'm still gonna watch anime like once every month, but this was a good show, and I highly recommend it. And the opening? The opening's really good. I cannot be that on Osu, though. Oh, shit. Nah! Yo! <laughs> That's racist! This is racism! Stacking game. It's stacking game. Yo, gang, what am I doing? Like, when do I stop? Oh, you, you, press, you press the thing. You press the thing. Press the, yeah. Oh, oh, it's this game. All right, bet, 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 bet. All right, all right, all right. All right, we'll see you out there. We'll see you out there. Oh, yeah, Alex. Oh, yeah, Alex. Oh, yeah. Alex. Oh, yeah. Okay? Oh, yeah, Alex. Alex, oh, yeah? Alex, come on, come on, come on. Come oh, yeah, shoot. I can't see. I can't see. All right. Alex, 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 Alex. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Stay locked in. All right, I dine today, gang.